Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm back with another unboxing of a new release for you guys. This is the newest collection from By the Will for God. Uh, I will have all the links down below for you guys with timestamps. So if there's something specific that you wanna jump forward and look at, you can find that down below. And last month seemed to work pretty well. Um, I did some blog posts with some detailed pages. Uh, I did a tips and tricks video and then a what's in my cart. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you did, like if the those were helpful if you enjoyed those videos um i kind of plan on doing a what's in my cart but let me know if those videos you know were helpful for you and then that will determine what all i put out with this release but um uh, more importantly than that is the devotional content i'm super excited for this one in particular so this is follow me very bright and fun as we head into summer uh and these are the again the new release from by the well for god and so i have the thank you card so anytime that you order from by the well for god uh, typically you'll get like a little handwritten note if you're ordering like a smaller order with the releases um you'll get this card it's got details about this release plus where you can find by the well for god um throughout their social media their email list all that goodness also the hat hashtag to use for this month. So you can use this hashtag when you're posting on social media, but you can also search and follow this hashtag. So then you can see uh, how the creative team is creating, uh, but also other people in the community. We all have different styles, different things that we get out of these studies. And so it's really inspiring to see how everybody works to these kits. Um, and so if you are, you know, feeling like you're in a rut, don't quite know what to do, check out that hashtag and you kind of see what other people are creating. Uh, on the back side of this card, you're getting a sneak peek into the release for next month. This will be releasing mid June, towards the end of June. Um, and so it kind of gives you an idea of what the devotional content's gonna be, some of the graphics, colors. I love that they do that, especially, you know, in this time, I don't know about you, but I'm budgeting, we're budgeting like crazy. And so this gives me an opportunity, you know, we can budget ahead of time. And if you think that this is the kit that you are gonna be excited about, um, that allows you to kind of pre-plan for that coming up. Um, in addition to that, you get a little goodie bag. I'm gonna stash that to the side because I know many of you guys enjoy a good surprise. But um, when you place an order, um, any order, you usually get some sort of freebie. If your order includes the kit and is over $37, that's before shipping and all that goodness, uh, you get an extra bonus goodie which is the mini stamp um in there and then if you're one of the first of the uh, 300 or 500 three i think it's 300 was 300 maybe it's 500 anyways first few hundred people that order the release during the pre-sale there's even an extra bonus goodie which you guys are going to be excited about that one after what the team had done last month but uh, so there's lots of benefits that they you know give you free things free goodies um and rewards for jumping in there and ordering during the pre-sale i do believe the pre-sale is still currently going on at the time of the filming of this release however as of yesterday there were less than 100 kits left so uh, i can't guarantee that this is going to be there when i get this video up i really hope so um they don't always re-release the kits if they do it's usually months down the road because they're already preparing for next month's kit um, but they have already sold out of some stencils and things and are planning on restocking those and so this kit's going fast guys so i'm trying to get this posted as quickly as i can for you um, that way you can go ahead and take advantage of the pre-sale now follow me over on instagram if you want notification of the pre-sale if you want to use my affiliate link to support me i really appreciate that as soon as the sale goes live during the pre-sale week i post on instagram um, and let you guys know that that's happening and so that's you know a lot of us do that and that's why the, this you know kit is going pretty quick also it's really really good uh devotional content so lots of fun things i'm going to kind of scoot these to the side so that we can take a look at the devotional kit itself and focus on that first. Uh, the devotional kits come packaged in these nice drawstring bags. So you can store everything in there. Um, but if you don't have a tendency to store things this way, you can also, you know, cut this apart, use it as texture and layering elements. You can stamp on here. Um, I've seen some of the gals attach this to car like paper and print on it. So you're getting a little extra texture in there with the bags, but looking at the devotional content. So the title of this release again is Follow Me and it is structured in a standard traveler's notebook. I'm um, just like 
past uh, devotional kits from them. It's also structured in a 14 day format. Um, the idea behind that is that if you, you know, did your study and your reading and all that goodness on one day and then did your Bible creating the next day, you could stretch this over an entire month. Um, but you can also kind of break it up and do it as you want. I definitely don't do 14 entries in my Bible. Some of you guys do. You guys are amazing. Uh, I don't have that kind of time. So I usually work through the kit to pick and choose what days I want to do a Bible journaling entry for um, and then do it that way. But there will be lots of different creative ideas this month um, for projects as far as tag rings and mini journals and all kinds of fun things. But follow me. And so this month we are looking at who was following Christ um, and what it means to follow him. And so it says, if someone walked up to you and said, follow me, would you follow? Chances are pretty strong that you would look askance at the person and try to get them to move along without you. Now, if I'd asked whether you would follow if Jesus had been the one asking you to follow him, you would likely have jumped at the chance, but this is because you already know who Jesus is. When we read through the gospel accounts of Jesus calling his first and closest disciples to follow him, the account seems odd in the rapidity, uh, rapidity and completeness of their decisions. Why did they make the decision to follow Jesus? What were these people like? And for what, for that matter, what does it mean to follow Jesus? Join us this month as we study those who follow Jesus and what it means to follow him. Um, and so we are looking at specific followers, you know, the apostles and, and kind of zoning in on some people. But we're also kind of looking at just you know, the stories around them as he was calling these people to himself, um, but also what, you know, is expected of us when we are called to follow Jesus. Uh, so there's just some really, really great devotional content. The gals in our little private group have already been saying this is one of the top devotionals that they have read through from By the Well for God. So it's gonna be a really, really good one. Um, you guys, I'm, I'm excited. So there is plenty of scripture throughout. Um, probably it's mostly gonna be a New Testament, I would imagine, if not all New Testament scripture. There's also some prompts in here to help you kind of connect with the devotional content, um, kind of asking some questions and, and you know, kind of getting you to ponder on what is presented each day. There is some room in here to do your journaling, but there's a lot of devotional content. So you may want to do like a separate notebook or something like that to take your notes. Again, lots of scripture to study through and we are really gonna be camping out in the New Testament, which, which is fun. I love the connection, some of the other um, projects and devotional kits I'm working through are kind of in the same area of the Bible. And so it'll be neat to kind of look at it from all these different perspectives and viewpoints and, you know, looking at scripture in different ways. And so I'm, I'm excited, excited for this one. So follow me. Let's look at the followers of Christ and what it means to follow him. Of course, it is really, really beautiful graphics this month. So let's transition over to what is included in the devotional kit. So during the pre-sale, it is $27.50 uh, uh, for the kit. And then that price goes up a little bit after the pre-sale. So again, another encouragement to take advantage of the pre-sale, but everything you see here is included in that that devotional kit. These particular kits are only available in physical format. There is not a digital version. However, they do have some digital devote, like mini devotionals in their digital section of the shop. They also have digital um, papers and ephemeras and things like that uh, if you wanted to do some digital things. But this particular kit, their main kits are not done in a digital format. All right, the kit does come with a four by six stamp set, clear stamp set. Uh, I like that they include some images on the back because it kind of gives you an idea of ways that you can use the stamps that are included. Again, very, very pretty, lots of watercolor. I think I will be journaling this particular kit through my illustrating Bible. Um, for those of you who have been following me for a while know I don't always love using watercolors in my illustrating Bible, but I know a lot of you have it. Um, and so I think with that margin space, I want to kind of show you that you can in fact use watercolors in there. Um, and I think the sizing of some of the stamps and um, things that are included in here will work really nice in that, that smaller margin than in my illustri or in my interleaved Bible. However, I'm sure um, some of the other gal gals on the team will be working in the interleaved Bible as well. But you get one, two, three, four, five uh, stamps on here. This girl, I love the girl because you can customize her. Again, you can paint her whatever co hair color, skin color. Uh, you can leave her, you know, as is and kind of just do really washy watercolor. You don't have to color in the lines. You have the scene image that you can um, kind of piece together scenes. You'll see that in some of the other stamp sets that are in the release as well that would work kind of together with this. 
really pretty uh, cherry blossom floral there. There is this um, texture piece. So it says follow me in different fonts and sizes. And so you can, you know, stamp it as a texture. You could build up and create a background with that. And then you have a scripty follow on there as well. So that is the stamp set that comes in the kit. It does come in this nice um, storage envelope. Uh, so you can keep them stored in these. I like to stand them up in a basket. Uh, you can purchase the blank uh, or empty sleeves as well if you want to put all of your stamps in the same type of sleeve. So there's the four by six stamp set. You have your verse card with your fabric clippies. So you do get two clippies here. You can use them as is, it's just page markers. Uh, I like to actually deconstruct them and use the fabric in my entries um, or retie the bows, stitch through them, tear them. Like there's a lot of different things you can use with these. Um, and then on the back here is gonna be one of the key scriptures um, from the devotional is Mark 1, 16 through 18. Uh, passing alongside the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and Andrew, the brother of Simon, uh, casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen and Jesus said to them follow me and I will make you become fishers of men and immediately they left their nets and followed him so obviously you can kind of see the follow me theme there um, and again that's going to be kind of one of the focus verses there so there is the verse card get a little flare pin in there I got mine upside down I love that they have these you know fun images with the girls and the cars and then they put little pops of like special pieces in there. So um, the license plate says Jesus. Um, you'll see kind of a watercolor version of the uh, By the Wolf for God truck in some of the images. So there's just some really fun, fun things in there. So this is a flare pin. So you can attach this to your bow clippy, the front of a, you know, a Bible cover, book bag, something like that. Uh, let's see, we've got the watercolor swatches. So you're gonna get six samples of Daniel Smith watercolors. Um, and these are very, very pigmented uh, watercolors. And you obviously can see that th there is a lot of soft colors in the kit. And so with these, more water, less pigment equals that softer look. So I did go ahead and swatch these out. I was trying to think ahead of time this time. So these are the six colors that you're getting on here. You can see you can get super, super dark or as you add water and kind of fade it out and you'll kind of see some darker areas and some lighter areas throughout the images. Um, so there really is plenty of paint on here. If you've never used these before, there are directions on the back of the card. Um, once you're done with your kit, don't throw this away. You can save it and use the paint that's on there. They do sell these paints as individual tubes um, in the shop as well. So if there's certain colors that you're really loving, like this quinacridone purple is really pretty. I also really Really love wisteria um, you can then purchase those individual tubes and kind of build up your watercolor supply if you want to do that the daniel smith watercolors are like the best they're they're amazing they are artist quality watercolors they're not craft quality so you guys know i like the art philosophy philosophy or prima marketing brand watercolors those are a good bang for your buck but they're a craft watercolor so um they're not light fast they're not you know they're just they got lots of filler in them um so they're fine for you know crafty things or whatever but these are really nice quality you could paint something hanging on your wall and it's going to last um for quite a while uh with the the light fastness that they have so they're very nice quality watercolors you're going to get three journaling cards so this has got a selection of scriptures from the devotional study and then the back side has some space to do some journaling so these are great for hidden journaling if you want to create little tip-ins or tuck them into a pocket um, you've got that scripture that you can focus on and then you can take some notes some commentary do some prayers on there i love that they're not just plain white on the back they do have you know some graphics and images and the lines on there for you to journal on uh, another way to use these is just you know verse memorization i think it's so important to be able to just recall verses from the Bible. I know a lot of people are, are either already homeschooling, thinking about homeschooling, transitioning to that homeschool life. Um, so incorporating some of these pieces into your homeschool, you know, having these verses be something that you're focusing on throughout the month with your kids um, is a great way to, you know, take the Bible journaling kits just outside your personal Bible and use them in some other creative ways. So there are three of those journaling cards in there. 
you get three sets of clear stickers. So these are um, like a translucent sticker. So when you stick them down to the page, uh, they just kind of melt into the page, which is great with this watercolor look. Cause I know not everybody likes to paint in their Bibles. I love crinkly pages. I love the texture, um, but that's not for everybody. And so this is a way to get that look in your Bible without having to make a mess. Um, or if you're on the go, if you're working in a smaller Bible, um, because these are translucent, you can layer them over the Bible text and still be able to see the text through the sticker. And uh, just keep in mind that some of the darker areas might be a little harder to see the text, um, but these would be great for that. So you have four large uh, kind of scene images. These would be really beautiful to like stick down, maybe do a little title, do a little journaling, and then you're done. It doesn't take very much. They do also add cut lines to the branding at the top. So you've got a follow me here and then the truck. So if you wanted to use those as stickers as well, you definitely can. You have this sheet with the paint brushes, this um, car there, and then the bicycle, and then some washi samples. So rather than doing like a whole roll of washi tape, um, they do these samples, which is really nice. It gives you a variety of um, prints. Uh, so we're getting, what, six this time around. It is on that clear sticker paper, so it doesn't tear like washi tape. It certainly does not lift off the page like washi tape. Um, it is like a sticker. So I do take my scissors and kind of wiggle them to create kind of a cut edge if you want that look. Um, but again, it is translucent, so you can see kind of through it, which is nice. Um, in addition to what comes in the kit, now you don't get the devotional content in digital format, but when you order the kit, you will get an email and you also have access in your account on their website to the digital files that go along with this kit. So they take some of the images like the washies and the stickers, and then they create that in a digital file. So if you wanted to reprint this on um, different mediums, resize things. If you wanted multiples of things, like let's say you wanted more of um, these stickers here, and maybe on cardstock or something like that, you do have those that you get for free with the kit. Those are for personal use only. Um, and again, it does not include the devotional content. It's just the images from the kit. But that does also include like the journaling cards, the alpha stickers, um, the ephemera, things like that. You also have the kit sticker. So this is a white opaque sticker. I actually like to attach this to the front of another notebook, especially if we're gonna be taking notes in a separate notebook. Um, that way I can know that they go together. But you could use this in a journaling entry. You can use them in the front of your Bible to indicate what um, devotionals you've worked through in your Bible. Um, so you've got that there. I'm trying to go kind of quick because it's like 90 bajillion degrees in my house because I had to turn off the fans. We are in full summer mode. Those of you who have been with me for a while know the summer is rough at the landing house. So um, you're also gonna get a pack of 24 ephemera pieces. Again, remember you get this in the digitals as well. So if you want to turn these into stickers or something like that, you want extras of the florals, you will have that um, in the digital files. But you kind of have a variety here. You've got lots of those really pretty cherry blossom florals. You you know, I, lo I love the, the florals and watercolor are just kind of my jam. Um, this color palette is so different from last month, which I know everybody's like, whoa, so, you know, last month was very grungy and, um, you know, gears and things like that. And then we've got this really soft floral and it's really, for me, inspiring, kind of changes things up, um, really kind of gets you to stretch. And I know, you know, when they do it this way, it kind of makes it so there's something for everybody. Not everybody likes the grunge, not everybody likes watercolor, and so I like that they really have a lot of variety in how they do the style of their kits. So you've got plenty of florals, you've got the girls in the car, you've got the bicycle from the front of it there, this really fun typewriter. You'll see some of these, you may be thinking, oh, this stamp set would go with that, or this stamp set would go with that. So um, if you guys want, I will put together that what's in my cart video again this month, and I will pull out different stamp sets, past stamp sets from By the Will for God um, that would coordinate well with this kit. You got girls and hats, and you'll see a variety of sizes. So depending on whether you're working in a traditional two inch margin journaling Bible, or the interleaved Bible, there's kind of a little something for everybody. Those girls are super fun. The paintbrushes, really pretty. Um, and they're just blank white on the back. Got a large tree. Um, if you're working in a two inch margin, don't be afraid to, to cut off a chunk of it. So just have it kind of hanging in there. Um, I like that the girl is, you know, can kind of be more to scale with the tree, add a title, some journaling, you're done. The texture this month is a little added piece of fabric. So I like to actually ruffle these, attach it to a journaling card, um, do a little, you know, 
tab piece if I've got tuck-in spots. Uh, so that is fun. If you have been wanting to play around with fabric in your journaling, that gives you the ability to do that without having to order one of the packs of fabric. Um, you know, if that's kind of new to you, I know a lot of us love the fabric, but not everybody has played with that. So I like that they include that, kind of give you an opportunity to try something new. I will link a Tip Tuesday down below where I talk all about using fabric in your journaling Bibles with lots of ideas and inspiration in there for you guys um, if that's new to you. So there's the die cuts. Last but not least are the alpha and number stickers. These again are on white sticker paper. So this is different than the clear sticker paper. Um, this is the traditional opaque sticker. You've got a full set of alphas with some ampersands, punctuation. It is that um, floral pattern in the background. And then you have a set of numbers. There are two different outliner stamp sets that coordinate with these that are add-ons you can purchase. There's the traditional outliner and then there's the caffeinated outliner. Those are sized to perfectly fit around these letters so if you are like me and you know like to outline them but it takes a little bit of time you can stamp that outline um, and then put the sticker in there which is really nice so those will be linked down below as well so there's a look at everything that comes in the follow me devotional kit but of course there are plenty of fun add-ons that you can get to coordinate with this but there's plenty in the kit for you to journal your way through the kit study the kit with what's in here as well but you know, there's a lot of us that really like to play with all the pretty fun things, especially with these florals. Florals are always a favorite of mine. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the other add-ons that there are. This is a new one this month. So we've done the tassel bob kits. Um, there's been a couple of different little kits. This month there is a... What are we calling this? I think this is the tag, yes, tag bob kit. So it comes with an assortment of fibers, metal binder ring, uh, whole reinforcing stickers and then 15 tags in four colors and they are five and three quarters inches by four inches so you've got everything in here to create a tag ring there are several girls on the team um, that really go wild with um, tag rings and mini journals and um, junk journals and things like that and I know a lot of you have been inspired by that but it can take some time to build up the product to create those so this is like an all-inclusive kit um, you've got tags already cut now you guys have seen in the past I've done tag rings before I have a set of tag dies and I use the coordinating papers but not everybody has a die cutting machine not everybody has that time um, so I love that this gives you the ability to try this out and join in with that without having to have all the stuff to do it everything's included in here so they are double-sided they're just grid on watercolor so they're very um, simple so you can add embellishments um, you can see there are five different colors that coordinate this is that like it's a little thicker than the printed paper so it does have some substance to it you've got the whole reinforcers that can go on there you've got the ring that everything's going to go on to so then you can add fibers and charms and and you know additional pieces in here and kind of build it out and then they also include this little wooden um, paintbrush which is really fun and so there are ribbons and fibers in here so you can kind of fluff it out but you could also use these as embellishments on the tags themselves so um, that would be a fun way to work through the devotional kit if you wanted again there's 15 tags so there's enough in here to do a tag for each day of the devotional um, and it's just kind of a fun different way or maybe you you want to do some bible journaling and your kids want to join in this would be a fun project for your kiddos um, let them kind of create that way they're not creating on the bible pages if that makes you nervous um, so that would be fun to kind of do it alongside um, you know if you got some daughters granddaughters um, this would be really fun so this is new to the shop they do have a couple of um, hashtags if you follow uh, btw4g underscore tag bob you can see how others are creating with the tags um, and kind of get some inspiration there i'm sure some of the gals on the creative team will be using this as their project like i said i think i'm going to work in my illustrating bible this month um, but i'll kind of get a feel for who all's doing the tag ring if it looks like there isn't really anybody on the team doing the tag ring then i'll, I'll go ahead and do that as well so there is that next we have the coordinating fabric so there are a variety of fabrics um, you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. You don't get to specify what color you want. Um, they all come with the custom truck fabric. So like I said, this is where they incorporated that truck branding, which is so fun. I know so many of you guys love that. So they did turn it pink instead of the traditional teal. And then it's got all these little seams on there. So you get, what is the sizing? Where did I put? 
It's 10 inches by 12 inches, and then you'll get a second piece of coordinating fabric. So they have a selection of fabrics that coordinate in di their different colors pulled from here, and they just, you know, as they fill their orders, they just randomly pick it, and you get what you get. So I got the pink one with the gold stars on there. Again, I will have that Tip Tuesday, I'll link down below, sharing um, ways to use fabric in your Bible. Um, there's also enough here to cover the mini Bibles. So if you've got, you know, that NIV mini Bible or a pocket Bible, you could cover that with this fabric. You could cover a traveler's notebook um, journal. Yes, you could cover a traveler's notebook with it. Um, you know, so the variety of different things that you can do with this. Uh, I, I love using textures in my journaling projects for sure. So those are the coordinating fabrics for the release this month. Next we have the papers. So you have two options for the papers. There is a six by six size and a six by eight size. The prints are exactly the same, just scaled for whichever size. Um, I do the six by eight just because if you're working in an interleaved Bible, this almost completely covers the page. So maybe you've got a lot of bleed through um, or maybe you want to create on the paper and then adhere it into your Bible. Um, it's great for that. Or as a full tip in, it's great for that. Um, six by six, I think if you're working more like die cutting from it, working in smaller scale, um, if you're interested in how to use pattern papers in your Bible, I have a tip Tuesday for that as well. There's a lot of different ways that you can use it. Um, but this comes with 20 four sheets of double-sided papers. You get three of each design. So I've already gone ahead and flipped them to A side, B side so that you can see all of them in here. The paper quality is really, really uh, nice. It's substantial enough that you can do tip-ins and tags and, you know, cards, memory decks cards without having to double them up. Um, also as tip-ins, I don't like when my tip-ins are like poking out when you, you know, you know, when you put a really stiff piece of cardstock in your Bible, um, these are flexible enough that they don't stick out as bad, which is nice. It's also, you know, nice for creating die cuts. Um, I like to use my dies to die cut, you know, alphas. Um, there are those layered floral dies I've used in the past and built up those with the papers. So lots of different things that you can do with the pattern papers. Or again, creating the tags if you wanna do your own little tag um, ring, you could do that, but really, really beautiful mix of, you know, prints that you can fussy cut out or just simple backgrounds. Um, the gals on the team just really kind of go nuts using the papers in a variety of ways. This is probably my favorite. I love this rainbow watercolor. So there is a look at the papers. This is the way, these are the six by eight papers. Again, you have six by six as an option as well. All right, moving right along. There are two sets of Traveler's Notebook inserts. I have set number one. Uh, set number two has the um, Cherry Blossom. I can't remember what the second one is. I always just ask them to surprise me. <laughs> so these are standard Traveler's Notebook size. And again, like I said, there is not a whole lot of room to journal directly in the devotional. So if you're wanting some extra space, that is where these come in. I also use these for grocery lists, idea lists, um, you know, all kinds of things. So they are printed on the front. There is a floral pattern on the inside, but then the pages are just blank white. It's the same paper and cardstock that they use for the devotional booklet, so it's really nice, smooth paper. I have actually journaled in these before. They can take a little bit of paint. I don't go super crazy with watercolors in here, but acrylic paints and, and gelatos, you could prep these with gesso if you wanted. So if you're not comfortable working in your journaling Bible, or maybe you've really filled up the New Testament in your Bible, um, but you're still wanting to work through this kit in a creative way, um, these are a great add-on and a way to do that. So you've got this one with the truck pattern and the different scenes and then a purple stripe and then there is a journal set number two um, depending on what option that you want there. Uh, next we have the flash cards. So these are little two by three flash cards. Now these can be used just as layering elements, you know, decorative elements, or if you've been following along with my word studies, these would be great inspiration for word studies. So um, these are going to be words and verses that tie in with the devotional content. Each word has a different verse. Um, I like to go through and um, kind of pick out the ones that go with which days of the devotional and kind of pin them in there so I don't forget to use them. I have a tendency to kind of forget to use things sometimes, but um, there are 
lots. I can't remember how many exactly, but there is a good fair amount of cards in here. Um, they are just printed design on the back. So you could use these as a tip in and do, you know, notes and prayers and things on the back if you wanted to, or your little mini word study. If you're looking up the original language, the definition, maybe some commentary like I typically do. Uh, and it looks like you've got three different colors. Uh, this one, so four. This is the light pink, a little darker pink, purple, and then that kind of dusty blue. And again, they each have a scripture on there. And then even the barcode piece, they print on the backside so you can use that piece as well. I've even taken these with my tab punch um, and put it in my tab punch and punched a tab so that is another way don't be afraid to cut these apart rip them apart you know they don't have to stay in this two by three uh, size you can kind of you know use them as creative layering elements um, that you know tie in and kind of deepen the study as well so there are the flash cards this month we have two different sets of journaling cards and these are so fun. I can't tell which ones are my favorite so these are the way this one has 15 uh, three by four journaling cards and they are designed to be like paint cards. So you've got verses with the colors. Um, you could cut these apart and use them as you're doing that verse study. Maybe you want to write out the verses on there. Um, they're all going to be colors that coordinate with the release. How fun are those? Or you could just use them as, you know, layering elements behind something. Um, I love using intentional layering pieces. You know, we it may look very chaotic and crazy and paper crafty and scrapbooky when you're doing all these papered layers and doilies and torn papers and, and all that kind of thing. But when I'm doing it in my Bible, I really like it to be intentional. I like there to be a purpose behind the layers that I'm adding. And so I like that this has scripture on there. Um, and so it's just kind of a fun, subtle way to maybe do some cross-referencing to what you're studying or things like that. So there is the Way paint chip cards, and then they are um, just a like diamond print watercolor on the back. Can you tell I'm having a hard time with the heat? I'm shaking like crazy today. Um, the other set is this one. This has 12 journaling cards. Now, typically they are all the same style, if I remember correctly, or four different styles, three of each one. This time this 12. 12 different cards. So each one is completely different, um, has a different image on it. These are absolutely stunning. These would be great to add to your little tag bob uh, kit. There is space in there to maybe stamp a title, do some journaling on the back. It's a dot grid with watercolor on the back. There are different colors. I mean, just really, really stunning cards. We've all just been going on the team, going nuts for these. They are just so, so fun. And again, it's similar to the pattern paper. So they're substantial enough to hold up as a tip in, but it's not gonna be that obnoxious, like sticking out of your Bible, creating a lot of bulk in there. Oh my gosh, just, just beautiful. I mean, it's got me so ready for just a fun summer, not this hot summer. <laughs> So you get 12 different images. Each one is completely different with room on the back. Um, or you can fussy cut image, you know, fussy cut pieces out and incorporate that into your journaling. They don't have to be just be used as a three by four uh, card if you don't want to. So that is the way journaling cards. And then you have the way paint chip cards. So two different options this month for journaling cards. All right, coming down the home stretch here, we have the labels. These are kind of a staple item in my stash. I love having these, not just for Bible journaling, but my scrapbooking, even card making. You could stamp a sentiment on here, um, you know, have some floral stamping and you're, you're good to go. So it's a great way to use these outside of your Bible, but you get five sheets with three on each sheet. Uh, there's a dot grid, line grid, and then just uh, like notebook lines floral and then solid colors. Um, I get lots of questions about storage of my kits. How do you store your, kit, store your kits when you're done? I break everything apart and store by rainbow order. So I store all my alpha stickers by rainbow order. I store all my label stickers by rainbow order um, in like a, a basket. And so if I need them, whether I'm journaling in my growth book or a separate traveler's notebook, you know, if maybe I'm doing a totally different kit and I know that I've got a color of sticker that's going to match that kit, I can pull those out and use those. Um, but they are meant to coordinate with this release as well. And they are a um, 
nice white sticker. And they are not cardstock, they're a regular um, sticker, so they're not gonna add lots of chunk. Um, when you use cardstock stickers, it can be kind of tricky when you go to journal on the back of the page, so I like that it's that thinner uh, sticker in there. Next, we have the alpha stickers. So there's two different options. You have the tile alphas. Uh, let's see. There are five sheets of those. Has alphas, punctuation, and numbers on there. These are great for doing like verse um, addresses or small little subtitles, or again, titles if you're working in that smaller margin. Uh, colors that coordinate. Again, I like to uh, do rainbow order storage once I'm done with the kit. And then you get seven sheets of clear stickers. So this is the same font as the stickers that come in the kit. However, these are that uh, translucent sticker that coordinates with the outliner and caffeinated outliner stamp set. Um, you've got the floral. So this is the same floral that's in the kit, but in the clear sticker. And then again, solids that coordinate. To, I don't think there is texture. No, they're just a solid color. Um, no printed texture on these. So there is a look at the clear stickers. Always a good staple to have. I know I get messages from some of you that you order like several sets of these when you do a kit. So great if you're not confident in your stamping. You know, a lot of us like to stamp, but not everybody's confident in stamping the titles and things like that. So those are great for that. Uh, this month there are two uh, stencil options. Uh, you have the cherry blossoms and then the stone path. I believe that the cherry blossoms sold out, but they'll be bringing it back if it's not already back. Um, and so you also have the stone path. I love stencils. I'm gonna be doing a tip and trick video and I'm gonna show you how to dry emboss um, with stencils. I like to do texture paste through the stencils, um, but I also have a tip Tuesday all about stencils, showing different mediums that you can put through them. So I will link that down below. Um, this one is very, very, very pretty. Don't forget that you can flip them around. So if you're wanting the direction of it to be a different way, you can. it does not have to only be used you know, the one direction. Um, the stone one, this will be great for backgrounds, Really, really love that. You can also spray these with inks and then stamp with the stencil. It gives you a totally different look. So lots of ways to use these stencils. Um, I like that the By the Wolf for God ones have the hole punch so that you can store them on a ring. Um, and then they do have their branding on there as well. So Cherry Blossoms, Stone Path, those are the two stencils that coordinate this month. Again, if I do that, um, video, the cart video, I'll pull out some other stencils I have from my stash that will coordinate as well. Uh, last but not least is going to be stamps. So there are five stamps that released um, that you can get at a discount price during the pre-sale. There's also a large alpha stamp, kind of similar to last month's where it has a um, uppercase, larger, like scripty, and then a smaller script. Uh, I'm gonna purchase that separate. I, I didn't get my order in in time, um, but it's it's really, really pretty, you guys. So check out the alpha stamp. I believe it's a full six by eight um, alpha stamp, but there are these five stamps as well. Um, I can do a separate tips and tricks video to kind of show you some different ways um, and ideas for using these, but this is Saved Through Faith. Um, this is a really cute license plate stamp, um, and then it gives you the numbers and alphas that fit in here, so you can create your own custom. Um, one thing you'll notice as you go through the kit is that the license plates, even the teeny tiny ones um, in small images, they've added uh, things too. I believe it's follow Jesus Christ is what this stands for. So you can create your own custom. Um, the example on here is the verse address. Now you could stamp this directly on the page or you could stamp it on a separate piece of cardstock, watercolor, paper, or something like that, and then fussy cut it out and create your own little, you know, tip in or layering ephemera piece. Um, and so that's really, really fun. Fun for your kids too. I don't know about you. When I was a kid, I had the custom license plate on my bike that had my name. Um, so I'm sure you could stamp this on sticker paper and create custom stickers for your kids would be really cute um, and so this is kind of one of those that yes it pairs with this kit um, but it doesn't only have to pair with this kit you can use it with a variety of other um, projects and kits as well so there is saved through faith Next, we have All Nations this is one of those again that coordinates with the kit but also um, it's kind of you know a little bit different so you can use it with other um, projects card making like I said um, so it's all these fun line drawn images you have the woman there you have a smaller plane and a larger plane the paper airplane the earth and then this is actually the earth turned into a heart you'll see that here um, really really pretty and fun very different again if you're doing card making um, or you know 
you maybe you're taking a break from the kit, you finish the kit, you want to journal some individual verses, study some individual verses. Um, they do, I don't know if you've noticed, attach a verse to each stamp set. That doesn't mean that's the only verse that you can use, um, but I would encourage you to go and research those, look into them and see. Um, yeah, this is, I think, believe going into all the nations, um, you know, to evangelize. Uh, that would be a great place to journal with these stamps. There's all nations. Strive to enter. So you've got the girl holding these beautiful floral bouquet, um, and then you've got this flower and heart texture stamp, and then a door and a window. And so here on the back kind of gives you an idea. You can use that texture to create a background. Um, you can also use um, these to create a scene. In the tips and tricks video, I'll kind of show you one way that I really like to do that um, with stamps to get a soft watercolor look, even with stamps. So stay tuned for that. I will be showing that. That video probably won't be up for a couple days. Like I said, I'm trying to get this unboxing up as quickly as possible. So give me some time. I'll have that tips and tricks up for you guys. The spirit gives life. You guys know florals are always a favorite of mine. So you're getting what, six different florals on here. These are gonna be those cherry blossom. Here's just an example of how to color those in. Um, but don't forget with florals, you can paint them whatever color you want. So yes, while they compare and look, you know, like the florals in this kit, you can just change up the colors. Um, I know there are specific colors to specific flowers, but Gail knows all of that. Gail is our flower girl. I just paint things how I want to paint them. So <laughs> you can change the color. Again, great for journaling through this, but also for card making um, and projects like that. So really, really beautiful uh, floral stamps there. And then last but not least, we have Follow One Master. So this comes with three separate stamps. You've got that bicycle with the florals, um, just the bicycle stamp there. And then this is like a tire texture. You can see that here. Again, great for card making um, or just doing, you know, very focal image, focalized images, creating your own ephemera. So stamping on a separate piece of cardstock, fussy cutting it out, um, you know, great way to get your kids involved, give them some extra pieces to play with. So there is a look at the full release for Follow Me. Um, I will have everything linked down below for you guys. Let me know if you, you know, found it helpful to have those two additional videos last month. I did the um, what's in my cart and then the tips and tricks. Um, let me know in the comments if you want to see those again for this release, but I will have links to everything down below for you guys. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.